Yes, this is absolutely true. Because the last thing I ever, ever want to do is contribute to indigenous cultural erasure. Bailing practices are super cultural, regional, and absolutely predate Islam. Bedouins, for example, were wearing veils long before Islam came about in the 7th century. In cultures such as the ancient Hellenistic and Byzantine cultures, women were wearing veils. We have ancient evidence of veiling going back all the way to the 2nd millennium BCE in the Swana region. This sculpture from Sumeria, for example, is super old. It could be as old as 2900 BCE. Veiling is also a part of some Christian cultures, some Jewish cultures, some pagan cultures, tons of different people veil. A lot of scholars have noted that veiling over the face is actually a lot more sociocultural than it is religion oriented. A big correction from the last video is that these are the Tuareg people, not the Toreg people. I also want to know that they are indigenous. Their way of practicing Islam is different than a lot of other places. They also incorporate their pre-Islamic animistic beliefs, including spirits of nature, Kel Asuf, and jinns. Jinns are evil spirits, especially of the desert. Tuareg often wear these really beautiful amulets um, to help keep the evil spirits away. And again, it's a function of keeping the nose and the mouth covered. My wonderful mutual Nia Next Death also mentioned that one of these evil spirits was illness. Veils are highly effective in keeping out disease. And as somebody in the comments also noted, there are parts of Islam that instruct to keep distant during a pandemic. This is one of those really interesting moments where it's hard to see the divisions between science, religion, culture, and spirituality. All in all, veiling is super old. They can be religious, they can be cultural, they can just be protective. There are so many layers and elements that I wouldn't make any grand generalization about veiling culture in general because it differs so much from place to place. 